All right, welcome back again. And um, today I'm in the indoor garden and a few things have changed. Um, so I do want to kind of go over those changes. Um, the first and biggest one is that I did go ahead and open up the second level of this as well. Um, I was running out of room up here for the things I needed. So I went ahead and made the space down here and uh, got that part of it up and running again now as well. So um, some good news on that front. Um, but let me kind of go through uh, what I've been doing in here. Um, so first of all, um, I went ahead and repotted the beets, the bok choy, and the cabbage. Um, most of that has done just fine. It's actually only two of the cabbages that really have not survived the transplant here. Um, I don't have any extras, but I'm okay with that. I, I don't think I'm going to wind up putting more than maybe two or three actual cabbages into the garden because they get rather large um, and uh, yeah this guy didn't make it there uh, that one looks like it's on its way out but uh, these other four look pretty good so I'll just pick the strongest of those um, when the time comes uh, the bok choy transplanted very well and is already um, you know uh, getting much more prolific and looking uh, really nice and the beets are also um, very strong here uh, they are doing very well. Um, I also still have this uh, container, which was the seeding um, beets. I still have this container going as well because um, I want to be able to put more than one batch of beets in. Um, but I want to space that out over time. So I'm going to put in six immediately, and then maybe a week or two after that, I'll put in another six. Um, at least that's the goal here anyway. So, um, these are still the tomatoes. This is the San Marzano here and the flame tomatoes there. Um, I'm going to have to get these things going fast or, or the other option is to keep them indoors, um, you know, for their life cycle, which is, you know, a possibility. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it's cooling down pretty quick here. Um, and it'll, it'll be a bit of a race to uh, to see if I can actually get anything producing um, on them. So hopefully, we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Um, I did um, wind up getting um, the two sweet meat squash out of out of my little seeding um, thing here. Um, and I'll show you those in a moment, but I went ahead and put uh, two new, um, I put uh, three delicata squash in here as well. So uh, hopefully those will do well. Um, haven't popped up just yet, but I'm sure they will in the near future. These are the white sapote, and it is the most nerve-wracking thing to germinate, I'm telling you, because first of all, they have such hard outer shells, they don't have a very great germination rate. Um, second of all, they take a long time. So it takes, you know, I have more seed available, but the thing is the seed is only viable for maybe about 14 days to a month tops um, on white sapote seed. And the thing is that if you don't plant it all right away, like I didn't, um, you know, by the time you find out whether the first batch did anything, the, your your initial your your uh, extra seeds are already gone, so uh, they're already not going to germinate, or very unlikely to anyway. So it's a frustrating thing to germinate. However, I did um, get uh, I did get one of them started popping out some green, and this guy right here, this one has a root going down. So I'm expecting to see some green from that one as well in the next couple of days. I hope, anyway, we'll see. Um, I gotta water that down, but here is the one white sapote that has started doing things so far, and I'm very happy about that. I put it down here next to my two mangoes, which are uh, both doing pretty well. Um, looks like this guy's got a little bit of green coming out here in the near future as well, so that's all very good. 
The other things I have down here are the more tree-like things. So I have, that's the fig back there. The papaya still has not popped out. Um, so I don't know if they're just not going to or whether I, I mean, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Uh, probably give it at least another week or two uh, before I, you know, abandon that idea. But uh, hopefully they pop up. Anyway, back to the top shelf here. Uh, fig is still going. Um, I just now got the tiniest. I thought I did anyway. No, yeah, maybe not. I mean, I've got like these little white, um, you know, bits which will turn into roots eventually. Um, they just haven't actually gotten to that point just yet. Do need to change out that water though. It's starting to get a little murky. Um, got my new kiwis in. So this is the female right here, and I've got, uh, or I'm sorry, this is the male. And then I've got these two females here. So I'm going to let them get a bit larger um, and a little more, you know, ready, I guess, for going outside before I do that. And then I'm going to be a lot more careful with these ones um, to make sure they don't get scorched. Um, I got three tomatoes here. These are the black cherry tomatoes. Um, these are the squash, the sweet meat squash, which have popped up beautifully. They look really, really nice. This one was a little bit earlier, um, and, and, and it's got a little bit more leaf growth coming in on it. This guy is just getting its first true leaf. Um, and then the citrus, of course, I've got, this is the Meyer lemon, and uh, my two key limes back there. I don't think the grape is going to make it. Um, I don't know, there's a little bit of green growth on this one, um, one node right there, but the very top has died off, so, I don't know. Um, you know, the only other thing is, uh, of course, my pataya, my dragon fruit, are doing very, very nicely. A couple of these have double heads, which is kind of cool, like this guy right here, um, and uh, and this one over here also has a double head. So, yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of everything that's going on right here. Mostly I'm just trying to keep everything kind of wet and watered. Uh, but now that I have this open space here on the bottom, I can actually go ahead and start germinating a couple of other things as well. So I might do that. We'll see. But in the meantime, that's everything from the indoor garden. And, uh, you know, I hope somebody has finds this helpful or, um, or is at least interested. And uh, you guys have an excellent rest of your day. Happy gardening.